In this video, we're going to start creating and modifying profiles using the profile creation toolbar. We're first going to lay out a profile using the design vertical profiles by drawing tangents and tangents with curves. And then after we've done that, we'll go ahead and add in some additional points of vertical intersection or PVIs. And then we'll also add in some tangents and some curves. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to modify our profile view to make it more manageable for designing a profile inside of. I'm going to select my profile view, I'm going to go to profile view properties, and then what I'm going to do is navigate to the elevations tab and choose the automatic height and then hit apply and hit OK. Now that my profile view is more open and available for designing inside of, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the home tab, the ribbon bar, to the profile dropdown, and I'm going to select profile creation tools. From there, Civil 3D prompts me to select the profile view to create my profile inside of. I will, am going to be working with my dev align, so I want to go ahead and click on the dev align profile view window, and then I'm going to be presented with my create profile draw new window. From here, I'm going to name my new profile dev prof. And then I'm going to leave my general settings as design profile and complete label sets and my layer as C road profile. What I'm going to do is I am not going to assign any design criteria, but if you were going to create a profile and you wanted to use design criteria, this is where you would apply it. So I'm going to navigate back to the general tab, click OK, and then the profile layout tools window shows up. You can see by the title here that I'm clearly working in my dev prof profile. And so on the far left hand side, the first options that we have are draw tangents and draw tangents with curves. These two options are identical to draw tangent to tangent and draw tangent to tangent with curves as we had when we were dealing with creation of alignments. Just as we had dealing with creations of alignments, we have our curve settings that are associated with draw tangents with curves. So we're going to go to curve settings. And inside of curve settings, we have three curve choices, parabolic, circular, and asymmetric. So parabolic is going to be the left-hand column. Circular is the center column and asymmetric is the right-hand column. I'm going to leave mine as parabolic and I'm going to choose my lengths and I'm going to set those as 50. So once I've set these to 50, I'm going to hit OK to apply those new curve settings and I am going to jump into drawing my profile. I'm going to start with drawing tangents because I don't want to insert a vertical curve near a roadway that I'm going to be tying to. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw just tangents and I'm going to start snapping at the point of my intersection at the center line of the existing road. And then I'm going to put in a tangent that approximates roughly what is happening in the existing road. So I'm going to put a point in here and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to creating the next vertical intersection that I have here. So I'm going to select a point somewhere in here, and then I'm going to hit enter to get out of the tangent command. I'm going to drop back down and I'm going to go to draw tangents with curves. And Civil 3D is going to ask me to specify a start point. I'm going to turn my snaps on. I'm going to snap to the end of this tangent. And then when I start snapping to the end of this tangent, Civil 3D is going to now start placing curves as I go from tangent to tangent because we're in the tangent with curves creation method. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my snaps because I don't want to accidentally snap to a grid inside my profile view window. And I'm going to pick a new spot here. And then from here, I could continue to move onwards and create my last point here. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to hit enter to get out of that creation method. And we're going to discuss some additional creation methods that we have available to us. So the first three options all have to deal with points of vertical intersection. We have the option to create a new point of vertical intersection. We have the option to delete a point of vertical intersection, and we have the option to move a point of vertical intersection. So the move point of vertical intersection, you, what you end up having to do is you select the point that you want to move, and then you select the location you now want to move it to. It's not as simple as a grip edit. I don't prefer this option. We'll talk about grip editing later. Then what we have available to us is adding in lines and adding in curves. The lines and curves are just like we had when we were dealing with our alignments. You have fixed, floating, and free. And just as before, fixed is between two points. Floating is between an object and a point. And what you have to understand is that 
for tangents, you cannot have a floating tangent line off of another tangent. A floating tangent has to come from a curve. Then we have the free tangent and a free tangent has to go between two curves. Then we can also solve for tangent intersections. So you can pick two lines and solve where that intersection is gonna be. Uh, same thing with the curves. We have our fixed, our floating, and our free. Then we have an option for converting AutoCAD objects to profiles. So that's this button here. If you had a AutoCAD line or spline, you could convert it into a profile. And then we have some of our edit commands, which we'll get into later. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna select a fixed tangent two points, and I am going to place it at the endpoint. So I'm gonna turn my snaps on again. I'm gonna to fix to the endpoint of this tangent, and then I'm gonna to snap to the endpoint of my surface profile. And then I'm gonna hit enter to accept that change. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and show how it looks like to insert a PVI and delete a PVI. So I'm gonna insert this PVI by selecting the insert PVI button, and then I'm gonna specify a point for the new PVI. And when I do that, Civil 3D inserts that PVI and then it prompts me to continue if I want to. I'm not gonna continue, so I'm gonna hit enter. And if I didn't like the PVI that I put in, then I can go ahead and delete it out by selecting delete PVI. And so I can delete this PVI by clicking at or near the location of this PVI that I wanna delete. So once I've done that, I'll hit enter to accept that. And then we have our beginning legwork of our profile. We'll deal with editing in future videos.